Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're gonna do a quick morning Q&A. It's super early. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible before my day starts uh, because I know if I didn't do it now, I probably wouldn't do it at all. So with that, we're going to uh, be talking about cleanup crew and dyno. Now, it's very popular for people who have dyno or think they have dyno to buy a bunch of cleanup crew. We're talking about uh, snails, uh, hermit crabs, sea hares, or even buying fish like tangs that might uh, eat the dyno. Now, most of the time, the cleanup crew will not touch the dyno. They just won't. Uh, they're not going to get it. If you do think your fish is eating it, it's most likely trying to get around it and getting into like the hair algae or whatever kind of uh, algae that might be on the rock structure. They're, they're not going to eat it. The reason for that is, is dyno is toxic for pretty much everything in the tank. Um, so if your snails eat it or your hermit crabs eat it, there's a 90% chance that they're going to end up dead and then they're probably going to contribute to excess nutrients or whatever problem you might be having there. Um, having a bunch of dead snails uh, is, isn't going to be good. It's not going to be good at all. So um, having a cleanup crew or buying a cleanup crew specifically for dino is not something you should be doing. You should be identifying that species. Now, I do offer a dino identification on my website where you can uh, send in a sample. I can identify it and give you a guide specifically because there are different strands that are associated with the dino. It's not just a one and all, a one a one type, type solution. Um, so with that, you have to identify the dyno, you have to then uh, get rid of the dyno, and then I would say when it's about 90% gone, then you can buy a cleanup crew if you have you know, hair algae or turf algae or anything else kind of going in the tank. And um, that could be contributing to the, you know, the low nutrients. As you guys know, you can have algae and you can have dyno at the same time. It's very possible, it happens all the time. Um, it's because the um, algae will uh, uptake the majority of the nutrients and if the nutrients are low um you know within the water column they're really low that's when the dino can kind of sneak its way in and you can have both so it is possible to have both um, that is again a very common question as well so um address the dino issue manual removal remove it um and then whatever method that you need to for that specific species <clears throat> once it's gone or close to being gone then you can get your cleanup crew to address any other issues you might have with that um and that's about it. It's very simple. Don't go wasting your money, Try, you know, because snails are expensive, hermit crabs are expensive, fish are ridiculous. Like, why would you, can you imagine spending $500 on a tang, put it in your tank, it starts chomping on some dino, and then it's dead. I mean, the likelihood's probably not that high, but it is a possibility, and do you want to play Russian roulette with your fish and or with your wallet? You got to think about that as well. So um, that's about it. Uh, hopefully this answers the question and if you guys have any more feel free to put them in the comment section if you want to add anything to this again comment section and of course if you want to support the channel head over to fishofhex.com and i think we're yeah we're still in january so the code 30 percent off at checkout for all 3d printed items appreciate you guys and i'll see you maybe tomorrow all right peace